Okay, guys. Here I am with my machine. I bought today a, a used GTX 680 with four gigs of RAM, and I thought today I just show you. I just I just picked it up and uh, I'm, I'm cleaning it right now. It was full of dust, and I thought I show you guys today how to how to clean it. You know, first of all, you take the vacuumer and you get like. The fans, you like clean them up, you vacuum them and get all the dust out. There was like piles of dust in it. Especially when you're allergic to dust, like me. It's quite hard. But what you do is, well, if you really want to go into, into, into cleaning it a bit more, like applying new thermal heat paste onto it, you have to buy those uh, things here. There's thermal material remover from arctic clean i bought them they were pretty expensive but there's a lot in it for cleaning uh, many many cpus and the thermal surface profiler you don't have to bought them i used in my early days computing i just used to clean it with water and lots of, of toilet paper you know this is what i do but today i'm, I'm a bit more sophisticated so i bought this so what you do is you have this one, it says in the back what, what you have to do, pretty simple, just put some drops on there, I have already put some drops on, on the CPU, almost finished cleaning this one, it's just stuck the, the in there, you see, I'm trying to get them away in the corners with uh, some Q-tips. I don't know what's what's the name of this in English. Anyways, you know, I think I think some people said in the internet that you're not supposed to use those things for cleaning the CPU. Honestly, I don't care, guys. <laughs> so I've done those many times. I use toilet paper to clean this. Holy shit, man! Okay, what I've done is I've tested this one before. I put it in, it works, it was fine, it was, the price was okay. So what I've done now is I've cleaned, I removed the old, the old paste from it. it Look, it's so shiny now. You can see it's not so shiny. To do it again, I think one more time. You do this many times. And after this, you use this one. It's the surface purifier. Already says what this one does, right? Purifies the surface. And then you have some uh, new new thermal grease. I have the what is this? Thermal PK3 from Polymatech. This has the highest. I looked it up on, on tables in the internet. This is supposed to have the highest uh, thermal heat transfer rate from all of them out there the sun, the, who are not based on uh, on liquid what it was metallic liquid metallic or something which doesn't work for my CPU cooler so I didn't bought this one because it only works on aluminium I think and this one has a copper paste and doesn't work on copper on the copper base so I had to go with the normal one. I picked up a small one. I only used it for for the CPU. It gave me switching the the compound gave me like around one degree cooler. My CPU is around one degree cooler, and, and I hope this one works for this one too. I have to do it because this CPU is two years old, more two and a half years old now. So this the the thermal the thermal grease and this one was actually pretty pretty hard it would still work fine I guess but yeah. I maybe use this graphics card for a long time so I might as well take care of it or something I don't know, so this is what you have to do you have to unscrew all the screws on the on the back plate and just it's, it's pretty simple man just, just don't touch these don't get any grease or any fat on that uh, yeah, I cleaned the, the PCB. There was some grease on this. I don't know what this is from But anyways I will put it in later 
I see other performances. I don't know if you want me to do like any benchmark tests or something. Just tell me. You know, write in the comments, whatever. I will also, oh yeah, what I think, try of doing, I, I think I'm gonna take this one off. You know, the, the black paint metal thing here. And I think I'm gonna paint it chrome. It's gonna look amazing in this one because this one here is like chrome. The Be Cry logo is chrome. The Intel SSD is like, it's not chrome, but it's like metallic, glittery, you know? It could be pretty epic. You're gonna paint it chrome, I think, yeah. And what there was something, one more thing I wanted to talk to you about, guys. But, well, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel.